in this morning's Health Watch, athletes and eating disorders. It's been an issue for many female athletes over the years. But it may surprise you that the problems can often begin in some cases after the women stop competing. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy has more. At 24, Alicia Kitazoy is fit and healthy, running almost every day. But four years ago, she was stuck in a vicious cycle of binge eating and purging up to four times a day. How do you get to a point or what is your brain telling you mm -hmm. that that becomes what you want to do? It definitely becomes habit. It's kind of like an addiction. If someone were to have told me, if you do it one more time, you could die. I don't think that would have stopped me. Alicia was a gymnast at UCLA. To master the balance beam, she practiced 24 hours a week and closely watched her weight. When you were competing, how did you feel about your body? What kind of shape were you in? Um, I was probably in the best shape of my life. In fact, Alicia's problems actually began after she left gymnastics. Without the rigorous training, she quickly gained weight. I was always known as the gymnast to my friends, my family. So once gymnastics was taken out of the equation, it was kind of like, you know, who am I? You know, what do I have to bring to the table? What do I have to offer? So that's what triggered my eating disorder. After battling bulimia for two years, she turned to her former coach for help. When Alicia first told me that she was bulimic, she was very ashamed, scared, embarrassed. The problem comes when they're no longer doing gymnastics and their identity is shattered. I never allowed myself to grieve the loss of gymnastics, which sounds kind of silly just because I didn't lose someone or, you know, but in a sense I did. I lost a part of my identity and who I was. At UCLA, the eating disorders program is run by Michael Strober. Well, this has been a long-standing concern within the eating disorder community. Ideally, counseling should begin not after the sport, but during the sport. That's important because studies have found that a third of all female college athletes have some form of an eating disorder. At UCLA, they are now trying to address eating problems before athletes leave their program, including a new manual for graduating students. I'm teaching them not only how to eat for their sport, but also how to eat in life. Hi, you. Today, Hi, Alicia is focused on balance, Good. not only on the beam, but in all areas of her life. What advice would you give to someone who is transitioning out of their sport? Take one day at a time, know that it's normal to have those feelings and that you know, you're going to feel that. And I would just, for me personally, it helped to talk about it, to have that outlet. Don't bottle it in. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles. And it is not just female athletes who may need guidance here. UCLA's sports nutrition department also shows football players who spent years bulking up how to eat like a normal adult, essentially, when they leave the team.